Hey, how's it going? Jeff here from Deep Cycle Battery San Diego. I want to talk to you today about lithium versus lead acid battery. In the situation here, we have a, a battle born made in Reno, Nevada, lithium iron phosphate, 100 amp hour, 12 volt battery, group size 27. Okay. We're here, over here, we have a sealed AGM deep cycle battery. It's a six volt battery. So we'd have to run two of these in series to produce 12 volts. Um, the first thing I want to address is that we've always told our customers if you want the best results for dry camping, run two six volt batteries. But now it seems confusing because we're telling them to run a 12 volt battery. Well, here's the difference. Lithium versus lead acid. In, in real life, we know that people accidentally discharge a battery to 100%. Okay, It just happens, things are left on, um, uh, loads get left on, and the battery gets discharged. Well, if you count how many times that happens over and over, you start to erode the battery's lifespan for lead acid. And in a laboratory, they've actually done this, and there's a video on YouTube, um, that they've discharged this, the deep cycle batteries to 100% depth of discharge over and over and over. They count how many times it'll come back up given that situation. And it's only about 350 to 400 times that the battery will cycle down that depth, that, that deep. Now, if you're really prudent with your six volt batteries and you only take them down to 50%, you might squeeze out about 600, 650 cycles to 80, uh, to, um, I'm sorry, 80% depth of discharge. That's so 80% depth of discharge, about 600, 650 cycles. If you're good and you only cycle them down to 50%, you might squeeze out a thousand cycles. Okay. So it's, uh, let's paint a picture here. It's, let's say you've had your six volt batteries for in your RV or your coach or whatever, your uh, trailer. You've had them in there for a couple years now. Okay, and now you're getting ready to plan a trip to, let's say, Baja or across the country and do some camping. You're starting to question if, if your batteries are going to make it. There's a couple of things you could do. You could uh, load test them. You could do a hydrometer test and just see how, what, they're, what they're doing. But you're still going to be a little bit concerned if your batteries maybe are two or three years old. And here we have a lithium uh, deep cycle battery. I can, this battery has a built-in battery management system that will make sure that it will not, uh, it's temperature controlled and it makes sure that it will not overcharge and, and undercharge, uh, take it down too deep, uh, under low current. This battery has 100% of its capacity available. So all 100 amp hours are available. So in a six volt battery, they're roughly 200 amp hours. That means half of it is available. So 100 amp hours is available at 50%. And here we have 100 amp hours at 100%. So they're basically the same battery in the, in the, in the size of capacity where the lithium just takes off and runs away from the lead acid is that it has over 3,000 conservatively cycles at 100% depth of discharge compared to, uh, in, compared to six, 650 at 80% or maybe 1,000 at 50%, okay? Uh, the lithium also has a really, uh, really fast recharge rate, okay? So let's talk about charging. Uh, you're gonna charge this battery at 14.4 at the bulk absorption rate and you're not gonna equalize these batteries, the lithium, and you're gonna to wanna to float charge this at 13.6. So 14.4, so that's an AGM setting for most of your chargers, so that, that takes care of that. Is this battery safe? This is lithium iron phosphate. This is not the uh, lithium uh, uh, cobalt manganese that we see um, uh, on YouTube or, or on, on the news with Catching on Fire. This is a very safe uh, chemistry. Also, the built-in battery management system protects you from any kind of catastrophic disaster on that. Um, and the battery price. Is this really battery worth five times the price of lead acid? Um, again, if you're taking, you're living out, if you're living and cycling your battery every night, or if you're storing this battery in a, dev in a coach and then you're coming back and wondering if this battery's gonna produce, this battery's gonna last so much longer than lead acid. Um, so that's gonna take care of the cost price. I just want you to, to look at, do the math and figure out which way you wanna go on this and what's the best investment. We do keep the Battleborn uh, lithium iron phosphate in stock and it actually has a direct replacement for the GC2 size. So I hope that tip helps you. And uh, if you have any questions, hit us up on the uh, email and uh, we'll talk to you then. Take care.